Welcome to Nina Overland. I'm Charlotte, and on today's first episode of Nina Knows, we've put together a simple version of a defender buying guide. So we're going to be talking through what to look for and the common pitfalls that you might find when looking at defender. So we're going to be looking at the later Puma model, which ranged from 2007 to 2016. So let's get started. So first thing you want to look at is the engine. So you want to take a look inside the bonnet, check for any cracked or perished hoses, any water leaks that could be coming from the radiator, and also make sure that you look for any oil leaks as well. There may be some residue, but that's quite normal. But if it starts to puddle, then there may be another issue that needs to be looked at. So you want to check that there's no oil leaks on the gearbox or the transmission. There may be some residue, but if it's dripping, there's an issue going on there. Check the high and low ratio and that the diff lock works okay. It's good to familiarize yourself with that, but we'll talk about that on another video another time. Also check that the clutch is operational and that there's no signs of stiffness and that it's smooth. So you want to have a look at the front swivel joints to see if they're pitted or if there's any oil leaks. Also have a look at the steering rods and suspension bushes for any signs of wear. Then make sure to have a look at the four coil springs to see if they're broken or when driving the vehicle that there's any squeaks coming from them. Rust can attack the whole chassis, the main rails that support the engine, gearbox, suspension and axles, the outriggers and the body mounts. In worst cases, they'll need to be cut out and replaced. The most common part of the chassis, which is regularly up for repair or replacement on older vehicles, tends to be the rear cross member but this is quite an easy replacement by any Land Rover specialist or competent welder. Always be wary of looking at a Defender that's been recently rust proof. This could be that they're trying to hide signs of corrosion. It's always better to view an untreated but clean Defender underneath. Heavy use can take its toll, so you want to make sure that all the seats, the mats, the cubby box are all in good condition, and you want to check that all the buttons are working, especially the AC and the heated seats. So you want to check that there's no signs of wear on the seat bolsters and also check that the carpets aren't damp because this could be a sign of water leaks. Now let's go over a few things to look for on the bodywork. Areas such as the bulkhead, door frames and inner body door posts are mild steel, not aluminium, so therefore can all suffer from corrosion. This is important to check as replacements and repair can be very expensive. The front windscreen frame and windscreen blocks are cast aluminium, so often you'll find evidence of paint lift. Having these areas repainted is an easy fix. So now we're going to go on a short test drive and point out a few things that you should look out for. With over 35 years experience and passion for all things Land Rover Defender, we've seen one or two in our time and we want you to benefit from all of our expertise. So if you're looking for a Defender, then check out our stock online. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes of Neen Knows.
sorry. <laughs> it's be a sign of water leaks and that there's something else going on down there. Oh no, down there. <laughs> Cleaned and that is not being rushed. No. On the wheels. Uh, on the wheels. Duh.